Hello everyone, welcome to part 170 of advanced ecom series in Laravel 8. So we are going to continue working on our pending points. See, these are our done points. You can see we have done PayPal, pay you money, payment gateways. After that, we have done uh, product stock management and pin code uh, availability we have done. And now uh, recently we have done uh, website security points. And now these are the pending points. And so in this video, we are going to work on view registered users in admin panel see so far we have not shown the users in admin panel the users that have registered in our website you can see here that uh, we have not uh, having users here you can check out the left sidebar oh, we are not having the users so we need to make the module for the users so so, so so that we can show all the users in admin panel that registered in our website with active inactive status so that the admin can able to inactive them in case uh, the user uh, is not valid user uh, uh, is doing some kind of spam in the website then admin can make it inactive anytime okay so let's add the user module uh, we can copy from any of the module for getting the design okay uh, but we are going to add the users field users column here uh, we are going to show name address city state country pin code mobile email okay along with the status okay so status can be active or inactive user can make it active or inactive if the status is inactive then user uh, can't able to log in into the website okay so let's start so first of all we are going to make the controller users controller and uh, see we have the two folders uh, like we know that we have admin and front and now we are working in the admin uh, so we are going to add the controller in admin user controller in admin see earlier we have the user controller at, at front okay for login and register now we are going to add user controller in admin okay so for adding uh, we are required to run one artisan command to create the controller and in mac we know that we need to uh, run the command like this php artisan make controller and we have to add the controller under admin folder so we will do like this then users controller okay so the file has been created we can open the file in our folder here we can see in admin okay so we are going to create the route for showing the users and users route we are going to show in admin panel inside the middleware admin group so that uh, no one can able to assess without login so here at the last we are going to show users okay so route see get method we are going to use as we are going to show users only we are not updating the user or not adding the user so get method is enough and users controller then users now this function uh, we are going to add in users controller okay so we will add the function to get the user uh, function to get the user users will come up here and we are going to get all the users from user model okay user get all the user whether they are uh, disabled or enabled okay so we can get all the users and uh, we need to add the model here use a user model we need to add here only then we able to get the users and these users we will return to the blade file that we are going to create in next step inside users folder users folder also we will create inside users folder we will create users.blade.php and in this user blade file we are going to pass the users okay so we can check once whether the users are coming here so we can simply check like this to array okay and we can simply this is the short way of debugging these things in array so we can uh, simply run here users to check whether it is showing all users you can see it is showing all users here okay 
whether the users are disabled or enabled so all 12 users are coming here okay so now uh, we can continue so uh, now we need to uh, pass this user in users uh, blade file inside users folder so we need to create resources views admin under admin we need to create one more folder user and we need to create one file inside this one in mac we need to create the file like this touch dot user dot blade dot php but if you are in windows then you know how to create the file new file inside folder it's very simple in windows right click and then you can open new notepad you can create new notepad file and then rename your file okay it will ask that you want to rename the extension then you will say yes okay then you can give this name okay users.blade.php and after that you can open this file here users.blade.php file and inside this we are going to copy the complete format like uh, we can copy uh, okay so we are going to open this one in one more site so that uh, we can remove that and we can uh, check here okay so uh, we can check the brands module here see similar to this one uh, we will show the id name and all other things city state and uh, extra extra and uh, along with that we are going to give the status only okay status disable and enable uh, we may not give delete okay we will just give the status and if you want to delete you can delete from the database okay so that uh, you will not delete any user by mistake because if the user have placed some order and you delete the user from here then error message may come so it is better that you can disable the user okay so now uh, we can uh, add from the press brands.blade.php file this complete format we can copy and we'll paste here and now we need to make changes like in place of brands users will come okay after that we will add our own fields okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to replace all brand with user okay so uh, i'm going to check here brand also sorry not here This one also we can replace with user okay so now we can just simply check like this now it's fine uh, okay so now here in home users okay fine so now we can add other fields like uh, 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 all the fields here name address city state okay name then address city state country pin code mobile mobile email see password we will not show here okay password we can't even show because it's in uh, hash mobile email and status status uh, uh, we can show here okay status is active or inactive and status we are showing in actions no issue so we can just require name check once name address city state uh, country pin code mobile email country pin code mobile email okay so fine so here also we need to give all these values name 
address city state country pin code mobile email okay so now all the fields are here so here we will just give status field okay so no need to give other fields just give the status field update user status we have already given so now it seems to be fine now we can check once and i'm going to refresh here this one i'm going to use users and let's see so the issue has come because here uh, we have taken uh, we have not taken the array so array we will remove like this this one also now it must be fine and you can see all the users are coming here okay so name address city state country pin code mobile email everything is coming and you see the data table is not coming here and for that uh, we need to add uh, for data cable we need to add one file and we need to update admin layout and here we have the scripts for the data table uh, we need to add here data table for users as well if you miss in any any other module then you can also add the data table for that see now now we can able to search as well paging is coming okay you see entries how much entries you want to show okay now you can increase decrease the entries okay so here if you will uh, give the id like amit uh, something so you can uh, even search it okay so it's really good okay so data tables are really good all the functionality come inbuilt functionality search uh, paging okay so it's font also so also this one okay you can uh, you can uh, uh, have the last entry you can see last entry at top okay or even uh, the first entries at top okay me old entries at top okay so everything all the options are here see city uh, you can have that the person who have given their city person who have given their country name okay so many options are here okay so now uh, we able to uh, see the users now we will work on active inactive status so see the status is inactive for this email uh, and the status are active for all other okay so we can able to make the status active or inactive from here see right now it will not work because we don't have the function see you can't able to update the status right now it will show the error in console if you will check in console it will surely give you error because we have not add its route we have not add its functionality so far so nothing is happening so now we need to work uh, see the uh, here we have given the update user status so this one we need to add in admin script like we have added for others uh, we have added for like sec updating section updating brand so the same like we are going to copy this one so same we are going to add for users for updating the status for the user okay so here we can simply do like this you can copy this one sorry yeah only two are there like this then replace with the user and this one also replace with user okay so uh, this is the way we can able to do for the user but now we need to create update user status uh, we need to create its route as well so here we are going to create one route a route and see the same way we are going to create the route like we have done for others uh, post route we are going to add okay post and here we are going to write update user status okay so we are going to add its 
function in user controller and we are going to add the function like update user status okay so we are going to add this function in user controller so we can copy this function from any other module like brand controller module to save the time so it will same function will work so we are just going to replace with brand with the user okay user and this one also user okay so now we can check so let's have a look we able to update the status or not let's see so i'm going to disable this amit at the of yopmail.com see i can able to disable this one you can see no error has come and i able to the disable the uh, this user amit at the of .com. so let's try to log in from front end log out and try to log in on the edit of yopmail.com 1 2 3 4 5 6 sign in see it is showing the error message your account is not activated yet okay so the error message is coming here uh, user account is not activated yet. please confirm your email to activate so it is uh, assuming that the user is not activated yet because its status is zero so you can change the error message as well as per your own requirement but the main purpose is that we will not allow the user uh if the admin disable the user from the admin panel okay if the admin uh, disable the status if the admin inactive make the status of the user as inactive like this one so if i will make it active again now this user must able to log in i mean the address of yopmail.com login with one two three four five six and now you can see that we able to log into the uh, uh log into our e-commerce website user able to now place the order after logging okay so uh so now i ho i hope this one is very much clear to you now one last thing we need to do uh, here to add the, the users at left sidebar okay so we will update that admin sidebar and we will add the user at the bottom we are going to add uh, we can add after orders okay same like this one so users we can add here users users and one more thing uh, we are going to uh, take the users in page session like this same one uh, like it's done in brand controller you can see uh, this session we need to start so that we can able to select that particular users tab so we will make the tab of page session uh, like uh, users here uh, so that it will select that users okay so whenever uh, see we will add here session as well use session now check see now see it able to select the users let's left sidebar whenever users module is selected then it will show all the users with active inactive status okay so like if we select orders it is selecting orders if we were selecting users then it is selecting the users okay so you can try this one at your end and if you will find any issue you can surely contact me so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye